very warm welcome. It's Gene from Mavstar. You know, I'm going to run through this video as usual, uh, unscripted uh, in any way, and um, whatever happens, um, if there's a few pauses, well, you know, we'll just have to deal with that and then continue with it. Because you know what, I don't have time for editing and and creating bullshit for you people. You know, we're not Walt Disney here. You know, what we are is a real observatory, you know, just trying to relay the truth out there. And hopefully more people um, find a way of uptaking that. So we're looking at uh, Tony Ella's uh, Climate the Movie. You know, I absolutely recommend people watch it because it gives an alternative view on climate change. And at the moment, that is what is not being promoted by the people that we pay our taxes to globally. And I also want to make a point of, you know, the banner which has been attached to it, the climate change banner, which is obviously from the United Nations. And of course, they would want to condemn this video for the fact that you know it is in their interest that they raise one trillion dollars from the united nations every year to back or climate change and and you know I, I i try to remain optimistic what is going on here why is the science being mistreated in such a manner as it is right now is it because there is a genuine need to keep people employment building these wind turbine generators and all the other um, supportive green policies around the world going and of course that would require a lot of money in a situation where technology was replacing human labor at an alarming rate and maybe that is the precursor for you know blaming co2 for you know um these policies coming about and you know misinforming the general public as to why you know we need to drive electric vehicles the, the truth is as I have always stated and now been backed up by lots of scientists now it's starting to you know pick up momentum and that these fraudsters are you know going to be revealed for what they've done you know they have changed our way of lives for the supporting of a policy that could make money for them. And it is terribly, terribly wrong. And, you know, I'm going to say, I was right. I was right 10 years ago, over a decade ago, and I'm right today to be on the side of anti-CO2 causing climate change and you you know what we're hearing right now you know a friend of mine good friend of mine Robert has you know informed me this week that you know that there are supportive groups and entities that are you know actively taking up now legislation against these companies that are producing the most carbon oil companies oil companies that employ people you know it's what i said about you know um you know i'm not a big fan of donald trump but when he comes up against someone like don you know um joe biden you know what have you ever done to create jobs? Donald Trump has built empires, you know, towers, buildings, 
golf courses, lots of things. And every one of those employed a person. But, you know, I'm not saying that I'm a big supporter of him. You know, I, 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 I like his humour and his um, resilience. You know, that's, that's just me. Um, I know it requires much more if you're a deep thinker to uh, select on your ballot who you want but do you really want Kamala Harris because I was watching a video earlier and I'm not going to repeat it because I know what will happen if I do um, I was watching a video earlier that was describing her personality and some of her traits and they're not good that's if they're true and I don't know if they are um, I'll tell you who I was watching um, then maybe I won't I won't throw them under the bus because it would just make matters worse for them but the, the big point here is is that I've been right all the way along the line. I said climate change was false. That everything is cyclical. You know, we have a natural cycle of every 100,000 years, the Milenkovic cycle. And that ain't going to change in the next 800,000 years it's going to be the same but it's only been chosen now because it can be profitable by hedge funds and supportive people that support lies and you know what we know at the top levels of corruption it's about money otherwise there'd be no motive there'd be no inclination there'd be no opportunity so we know why they're doing it And it's terribly, terribly sad right now because we are going through some significant changes and it's my prediction not just to predict that climate change on the basis of CO2 is false and that is, I believe now, um, done and dusted. but on the principles of what is about to happen next. Not only are we going to see the arable lands slowly, as we have been already recording, decaying, where we grow our food that supports the world over the Northern Hemisphere and <clears throat> and yes it does affect the southern hemispheres as well it will change that as well but we are going to see something else come about and that is the further increase of technology you know I was in a supermarket tonight and I saw one checkout supervisor and do you know what queue I joined that, that person because I want to keep her in the job in this dire situation. I am not going to use those self-service checkouts. We know 15 years ago what supermarkets looked like. And there was plenty of, you know, um, checkout people scanning the food for us. And before they scanned the food for us, you know, they barcoded it or, you know, read the price tag on it. So many things have changed so very fast. That is unbelievable in our world. And it's not in a positive manner. Because the more people that use those self-service checkouts are just ploying to these industries that want to serve only one kind of person and that is the
the kind of person that holds stocks and shares in that business. And that, that can't be allowed to happen. Because if we are going to keep a capital system going, what we obviously need to do is keep employment going. But the things, the two things don't work in hand in hand. You know, the more technology we have, the more jobs get replaced by robotics and, um, you know, artificial intelligence in this day and age that we live in. And that means that fewer and fewer people have access to funding. And that's why so many people uh, right now around the world are going to mention the United States because they seem to be screaming louder than everyone else that there is a crisis there. And I really believe there is. And not only there, in the UK. A crisis and a lack of employment. And that employment means, you know, access to um, the capital system because you need money to operate in that capital system. And if there is no job exchange or the labor exchange for cash, then there's no um, ability to participate in the system. And I think, you know, before the climate really drives us down into the deck and we you know, I follow this, guys. You know, I have built my own equipment. We've got our own observatory. And we have been on the mark 100% for the last decade. 100% an unscavable achievement in being right every single time. You know, we've nailed it down. Cosmic rays cause cloud seeding. You know, uh, a depleting solar, um, solar cycle, you know, in lacking of uh, sunspots and solar activity, shuts down the heliosphere. You know, we have intergalactic cosmic radiation, and we have also furthermore cosmic radiation into our atmosphere because of the pole shift reversal. Our Earth is going through something it hasn't gone through in 12,000 years and none of us remember what happened back then because we simply don't have that lot of span to remember that 12,000 year anomaly was an excursion but what happened 780,000 years ago was something far more than that it was a completed reversal and before that on a cycle used to happen every 300 to 350,000 years and that's what we have to deal with that's what we're waking up to this morning and you're listening to right now massive changes on the grandest podium It's not good. And this corruption with the banner that you're looking at at the bottom of this video, Tony Heller's video, you know, needs to disappear. And the reality needs to kick in. The United Nations means we take your money. I, I, I've got no respect for that organization whatsoever and you should have neither because that organization is bankrupting you right now and you know we, along with other organizations like the world health organization they will totally wipe you out and do you know what it, the greed doesn't stop there you know what a few more CEOs will get together and then come up with another organization. We, we don't know about it yet, but it will come about. I guarantee you that because you can't stop the gravy train once it's in free flow. Once they know they can take and take and take, 
they won't stop. It's like a parasite, you know, destroying something. It's like a cancer, just wiping it out. That's what we're dealing with. Good. I see it first hand here in the UK. You've got to just walk through any city here in the UK and anywhere else in the world to see it. People broken to pieces on the floors of the streets trying to just get a good night's sleep. Can you put yourself in that position for just a few moments? How on earth when we could have created paradise on earth? The only problem was is that these people that we've got in power right now don't realise it. What they've done. And what they could have done. And it will only be on that realisation when they realise what they could have done that it will be too late. And we'll go back into a major reset like we've seen in the past. The Roman Empire collapse. The Egyptian Empire collapse. The British Empire collapse. The resources are just being squandered right now. And... 98 or 99% of the population of this earth are suffering on the expense of that 1%. And we should despise them, we should call them out for it, and when they lie to us, you know, when we take the time out to study science and we understand climate and we understand the anomalies that are taking place, not just on our earth, but in our solar system and other places extending far beyond that you know we should call them out on it because it is absolutely wrong what they're doing these people are wicked individuals and you know what I just want to say to them the tide is turning and we was right 10 years ago, a whole decade ago, about our conclusions on what was really causing climate. And now we've got a growing number of scientists, you know, also agreeing that yes, it's right. We have cycles like the Milenkovitch cycle that causes you know every hundred thousand years the earth to you know solidify into a glacial period and then just like we've experienced and we're on the back end of an interglacial which only lasts a very short about 12 to 15,000 years which has enabled us right now to expand our population to the numbers we have and thrive over the northern hemisphere without ice coming right down to the Mediterranean and maybe even beyond that. You know, a period of time where we have set aside the smallest amount of funding to find out the truth of our previous footprints in the snow that extend back into a very old age of our history and our ancestors history and now we have the truth and the sad thing about this is is that it has came very late in the game because we are about to experience 
another continued glacial period that lasts 90,000 years and our so-called experts in climate have failed to inform the general public of this and it has been the biggest failure ever humanity could ever witness because this will be something that shuts down the food production over the northern hemisphere which feeds the majority of the population of 8 billion souls on our planet right now there has never been a day guys that I've not been with you but I think there has been you know more than a few days where you guys have not been with me you know I have been screaming this for a decade and you think that has not come with a massive financial cost to me because I give everything to notify you to inform you, to educate some of you as to what is going on. I've been one of the originals that have gone back a decade and identified what was going on and brought it forward despite, you know, what has happened to me. I did it. I don't know. Um, sometimes, how this universe works, how God works. But I found myself today in Coventry Cathedral with a friend who was the one that instigated the um, visit. And, uh, you know, I was more than happy to, you know, go there with them and it is an amazing cathedral the abstract um, lead art windows is just phenomenal and I was uh, I, I did go there on a school trip when I was younger but I, you know what I was absolutely taken back today and spent I must have spent an hour in there and um, a family member is not very well at the moment who's very dear to me and uh, at, at the altar of that cathedral there is somewhere where you can light a candle and also say a prayer And that is exactly what I did, but not before a battle because you know I'm I'm not I'm I'm a bit shy sometimes. You know I don't want to do something, but something was just telling me just do it, light the candle, and say a prayer, quick prayer for that person, and that's what I did. And I read in that. You know, you've got to look in, you know, if ever you get an opportunity, have a look in Coventry Cathedral. It's something I've never seen before. You know, I've never seen such um, art. And of course, um, the organ was playing as well in there. It was dramatic. But a wonderful experience. It reminded me of just being a, a human being, basically. And... Um, of course paying a bit of homage you know to our universe and of course God whoever you choose to call him
and I think this is a good place to leave this on. You know, I just, I just wanted to come out tonight and say, you know what, I was right. I got it right 10 years ago. And look at these fools that are still getting it completely wrong. Magnetic pole reversal, grand solar minimum, climate change, and delinquents trying to lead us to third world war. Let's hope we can find peace on earth. Guys, um, over the next couple of days, hopefully tomorrow, I'll try and get some time set aside to do it. We'll do the uh, Earth Alpha Glance, where we'll get some of the other equipment out that we've got, the uh, radiation detection, gamma, beta, alpha, and uh, you know we'll do a muon reading here and also from one of our fine friends in the uh, Canadian region uh, Kendall and a, a big shout out to Sally who puts up with Kendall doing this for us <laughs> and um, yeah you know let's uh, Look at these anomalies that are taking place on our Earth because, you know, we live on it. And we're a ball that is speeding along at around about 72,000 miles an hour around our sun whilst rotating a thousand miles an hour. It's incredible. And these are just a few of the things why I love science. Guys, link down there if you want to help support what we do here at the university. University, uh, bloody hell, uh, at our observatory. And uh, maybe we should start a university. Um, but there you go. Uh, links are down there. Hope you want to chip in. And I'll say what I usually do. Bye for now.